fellow Biafrans, men and women of goodwill and of good conscience, this is the Biafra Live presentation on this evening of the 5th of February 2019. We are live from London and reaching you wherever I on this planet Earth from east to west, from north to south, from the upland and from the coastal regions of Biafra land to this hour of restoration and redemption. We are gathering in the name of the website God. Chukwu Okeke, he who sees in secret and the open, the mighty one in battle. We ask him, as always, to descend in his majestic power and his mighty fellow to envelop in the entire IPAB family members, individually and collectively, to be on the driving seat, to drive far from us on the friends of the evil one, to continue to render powerless and impotent our enemies, indeed to continue to set confusion into their midst that they will continue to speak in hostile amphitheatrical divergent languages among themselves just as is happening now the center can no longer hold the abomination called nigeria is indeed built for total destruction and extermination because they have indeed inflicted this injury and shot themselves directly in the in the legs it is our responsibility, individually and collectively, to continue to profess the gospel truth, the truth that will set mankind free, the truth that will indeed bring in and prepare the ground for the ultimate restoration of the land of Biafra. Our hands are clean. Indigenous people of Biafra have come from the Most High God and on a divine mission to deliver to indeed emancipate and liberate the people of Biafra and all men and women of goodwill who are still under shackles of injustice, slavery and servitude in contraption called Nigeria. That they may indeed begin to think like human beings because it appears that even animals are better than those who are in that contraption called Nigeria. Having seen abomination upon abomination and crime against humanity, ethnic cleansing being unleashed on them, and they are still going about as nothing is happening. These are not human beings. We ask the most high God to instill in them lively sentiments of life and thanking faculty that they will begin to think like human beings. Otherwise, we are doing for total damnation. It will not be the portion of the people of Biafra, indigenous people of Biafra, for we have come to say the way it is. And our mission is simple, to emancipate and liberate the land of Biafra and the rest of all mankind. May this be permanent in our lives. As we move on, we remind, we implore the Most High God to remember his promises to all of us presentation of Biafran that he shall restore us to our lost inheritance, the land of Biafra. That is why we are not going to look at anyone because this is an everlasting covenant. Only people with spiritual eyes will understand what we are saying here. For us, we have made up our mind and until total freedom, total liberation is achieved, we are not going to retreat and are we going to prevaricate. We are the most high God to allow us to stand on that our lost inheritance, the land of Biafra, when fully restored, to raise our voices in unison, to praise his name in a new symbolic covenant that will span the resources of Biafra to come. He shall do it for us, that the rest of humanity shall see his blessings upon our lives and continue to glorify his holy name. Why our enemies will continue to indeed be in all of his name. Do this for us now and give us victory and take the glory. To this we say a man and a man and a man. He say, he say, he say. My name is Richard Four. I am the deputy leader of indigenous people from Abatete. Abatete is in Idemili, Demili is in Oman, but I'm is in Biafra and I am here standing in for a great leader, as in um, the Kanu. The man that has so much hated by those unscrupulous elements who wanted him dead. They are having nightmares because they are faced by the reality of the fact that now they can still alive. 
That is why all manner of desperation from opportunistic politicians and their baby saboteurs, both in and outside Biafra land, is now the order of the day. But we are telling them that their nightmares have just begun because they have come too late. We are here to say the way it is. Our decision is to summarily boycott the already rigged sham selection they call election in the zoo called Nigeria. It doesn't matter what any other person thinks. Of course, we know that a number of individuals and groups have been paid to go and deceive themselves. It does not affect us. The indigenous people of Biafra are on course to totally boycott that sham selection they call election. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. They say that we do not matter. They say that we are miscreants. But this time around, you can see what is happening. If we don't matter, if we don't have the influence that they claimed initially that we don't have, why are they talking about us everywhere? Anywhere you go in the zoo called Nigeria, as we speak, it is about IPOB. Unarmed, committed, courageous, civilian, Biafran men, women, and children who have dedicated themselves to ultimate emancipation of their land and indeed restoration of their lost inheritance, the land of Biafra. They are the envy of the world and more importantly and unfortunately in the zoo called Nigeria. The heart of this project we shall never be a we shall never allow to see corruption. The gate of hell shall never prevail against it. We are doing everything armed with our courage and nothing more and nothing less. Yet those who are with all manner of sophisticated weapons of warfare cannot suppress are unable to suffocate or when the spirit of Biafra that is burning in us that is to tell you the enormous powers, the extent of the enormous powers at their disposal. We must indeed be proud of whom we are. Continue to evangelize, continue to talk to your family members, to withdraw from pulling boots in the zoo called Nigeria. At the end of the day, they have challenged us. There are some individuals sponsored by the zoo government who are going about pointing at IPOB family members in different parts of Biafra land as the zoo Boko Haram army are now directed to go after indigenous people of Biafra. The assault will be of course turned their sword will turn around and destroy all of them. They shall fall on top of it. The land of Biafra shall open up at the appropriate time and swallow all of them. They are talking to us, intimidating us, telling us that they are going to deal with IPOB as if that they have not done their worst, as if they have not been abducting, killing, maiming, and spreading the blood of innocent Biafrans. There is nothing the zoo called Nigeria has not done before. And therefore, let nobody be afraid. Let nobody be moved. Stay focused. Do not set your eyes up the ball. You need to, at every particular point in time, continue to remind the zoo population that they are empty-headed group of people. And they are hypocritical to say the least that they see abomination, that they see crime, that they see corruption, that they see all manner of backdoor activities going on. They pretend as if everything is going, uh, everything is right. They lost their conscience. Long time ago, the only people existing in that abominable geopolitical space 
today remains or remained in the principle of Biafra and you should not let yourselves down. Our message is very clear. Boycott the forthcoming sham selection they call election in the zoo called Nigeria. Do not listen to all the noise that they are making. Stay focused. That is the only thing that you can do. Do not engage them unnecessarily because they are rampaging. Most of these people we are the people jubilating when IPOB was proscribed, when IPOB was called terrorist group of people, when the so-called Operation Python dance terrorism attacks were unleashed on our people in our fellow compound of our leader Mazin Nam the Kano and so much lives at the same time were taken away from us. A number of them we are partying both in and outside government quarters. None of them remember to ask about the name they can. None of them remember to ask about our father, His Royal Majesty Saise Israel Kukanu, and his family. But immediately they heard that the name they can is in Israel. All of them jumped up. Envy and jealousy are no manner of wickedness. That has never been seen before started springing up or springing up from different quarters and as you can see you can see you can appreciate the level of hatred against our leader Mazin and against you hardcore dedicated bear fans where they are indeed doing that in vain because our hands are clean as always and we are on a mission to conquer and to indeed ultimately make sure that the land of your face is restored. It doesn't matter how long it takes, victory shall be ours. We urge you eminent beer fans to indeed do the needful on the sustained of February 2019, 11 days to go. That day is going to be very special in the lives of beer fans. If you love the zoo called Nigeria, continue to go out to vote. Of course, your vote does not count. Everything you do is being manipulated. And the worst aspect of it is that these people know about what is going on. You are crying that the zoo called Nigeria is treating you like less human beings, or like animals. You have seen all manner of crimes being committed. Yet, you still believe that you, you're going to make a headway from that system. Only animals who do not rationalize, who do not think, can, of course, remain like that. Only trees that don't move, that don't have life in them, will be behaving the way a group of people who call themselves intellectuals in the zoo called Nigeria are behaving. For us here, we will not follow suit. The status quo cannot remain. That is why they hate us. That is why they go against us. That is why they are running helter-skelter. But they are making the most grievous mistake of their lives because they are dealing with a people whose minds and hearts have been made up on a very particular direction that we want to go. We must adhere strictly to the messages of our leader Mazin Nam the Kanu, especially the last broadcast of his that he may think that we carry out every actions, every directive that he has given. If you think that Nam the Kanu it's not worth it. Go and do what he has done. Of course, on occasions they have been challenged and they were not able to come up with any, anything. You cannot stop he whom his God has blessed. It's as simple as that. Our challenge is very simple. Do your own while we do our own. 
And at the end of the day, we'll take stock. What is the problem? We say that we are going to stay at home. We are going to stay away from any commercial activities, any social activities. We are going to stay at home. And they say that we are committing crime. Is it a crime for somebody to stay at home, to sit in his or her house? It is only in the zoo called Nigeria that somebody that call himself or herself or themselves intellectuals and rational human beings will think like that. What else can we do? We will allow them to kill themselves. Stay safe at home on 16th of February 2019. And do not come out because if you do, you may be a victim. We are on different platforms, satellite platforms, FM relay stations across Biafra Land. We are on technological call to listen. We are on our websites such as www.radiobiafra.com rblworld.tv we are also on our mobile app that is powered by audio now it is quite different from the previous ones that we are using we urge you eminent beer fans to download our new app which is an improvement from the former one that we were using Download Simple Radio app, download TuneIn app, and also go online and search for websites and blogs that are streaming our content. You can also use satellite platform to listen to us. You can equally listen to us via FM with stations for those who are, of course, receiving it in Biafra. If for any reason any of our FM stations are not up and running or it's not up and running, please make alternative use of other ones or other platforms. We will, of course, not fail to continue to look into what the issues are, especially where we have identified as, as being problematic in terms of our people not receiving our signals via FM stations. Number to call when our lines are open that imminently is plus four four seven four zero five nine six four one four six plus four four seven four zero five nine six four one four six. We are also on Skype. The Skype ID is Radio Biafra six. Radio Biafra is one word number six in front of it. Fellow Biafrans, there is mourning in the zoo called Nigeria because of IPOB. We have not done anything. We only said on 16th of February 2019, we are going to stay at home. More importantly, there are a number of revelations which our leader use. And more importantly, to buttress what we are saying, why we are not going to participate in elections, and why we the people of Biafra have every right to be given the opportunity to decide where we want to be. And our leader rightly made reference to Atiku Abubakar, the man who stood by and our people in Odi were massacred. He never said anything. The man who stood by, he, he, he thinks and pretends and po positions himself as the lover of our people. He was there, our people were called terrorists. And more down, and he never said anything. At the same time, he said that he loves us and that we should vote for him. What still, Peter be his vice is not entirely innocent of the killings, the memes that has been going on in Biafra Land. A Zoo River incident remains a point of reference. And 
it is unfortunate that some people are coming up to try to put up defense for P2B. We will have to say the way it is. Under P2B's government administration, a number of dead bodies of Biafran youths were thrown into a zoo river. They were suffocated. And somebody is trying to tell us that it is between Enugu and Anambra and it's a no man's land. Well, that is Zoo River is mostly in Anambra territory. And the most important aspect of it is that there was an autopsy call, carried out on the dead bodies. But the Anambra state government, in collaboration with the Zoo Authority, sat on it. We are asking them to make the result available. The result of that autopsy, we want to see, it should be made public. But the Anambra state government on that P2B in connivance with the central authority in the zoo called Nigeria sat on it and they decided not to make it public. And as we speak, they have dumped that report somewhere. And we are asking the question today. Is anybody making demands regarding this from P2B a bad person? Yet is pretending to be a representative of our people. And the same thing goes to Atiku Abubakar. Under their watch, our people were being mowed down. And as we speak, they are in collaboration. They are in concert to carry out another round of genocide in Biafra land. Buratai has indeed, after due consultation, both in Arewa Enclave and both in Biafra land, decided to reinforce and to even invigorate and intensify the ferocity with which they will unleash terrorism against our people. And they want us to keep quiet. At the same time, some unscrupulous, hapless idiots from the so-called Igbo land have the temerity to be talking about IPOB. You people will die. The same way IPOB five members are being mowed down, all of you at the appropriate time we pay very heavy price. Some of you are business moguls. You are captains of industries. And you think that that is how life is. Very soon, and by the grace of the Most High God, you will understand that you will not have a very peaceful environment for you to carry out your business. Because you think it's all about IPOB. You think IPOB can be waved aside. We will tell all of you that we are the original owners of the land of Biafra. People who are yapping today are the people who wish to nam the canoe dead. People who are yapping today are the people who wished and have been working as industry hard to decimate to make sure that there is something like IPUB again. They cannot today pretend to be one of us. They cannot today pretend that we are part and parcel of them. Because in our time of need, they indeed shown us our, uh, their back and they've shown us they've shown us how treacherous they can be why are you pretending today that we are one we are not one how can you expect terrorists to go and vote providence of doubt how can you expect miscreants to go and vote how many of you stood up against the killings, the memes of IPOB, especially all of you politicians who are using fake Facebook IDs to comment? The blood money that you are eat, eating will destroy all of you. The land of Biafra shall never allow you to make any progress from this time onwards and now forevermore, spiritually and physically. All of you who have had hand directly or indirectly in spilling the blood of innocent 
IPOB family members will never know peace. All of you and your families. The same way their lives were cut short will be the same way your own lives will be cut short. You will die miserable deaths, all of you and your families. Because you think that this is where it ends, you have indeed provoked a generational war that will continue until total freedom is achieved. For those who have paid the ultimate price that we may have our freedom, you people are wicked. All of you are wicked. All of you want Nigerians from Biafra land. You are all wicked. There is no semblance of human sympathy in all of you. We ask you, eminent Biafrans, IPOB family members, to remain focused and result. There are people who told us, who came out, and said that IPOB strategy to boycott election in the zoo called Nigeria is ineffective. They challenged us. They said that they are going to shut down election of the zoo called Nigeria. As we speak today, 11 days to go, they are nowhere to be found. We urge you eminent beer fans. They just want to set you up. They just want to cause this confusion and then use you as cannon fodder. Remain focused, remain resolute. Our charge is that we are going to boycott this election and that is what we are doing. And that is what we are going to do. Stay at home and do not come out. It will be a shame on all of them if they cannot shut down the so-called Nigeria, it will also be a shame on all those who say that they are going to vote, in the ty or vote out the tyrant and that the system is free and fair. If your votes are rigged at the end of the day, you will indeed shamelessly people where you belong it is our challenge to all of you that we are not going to vote we are abstaining because the system is inimically and perpetually not for our progress the election is not free the election is not fair people have card readers in their houses Underage voters have been lined up. Even in Biafra land, there are some strange faces that are imported already to go to polling stations. INEC is a tool for manipulation. The prosecutor of International Criminal Court has made a very important declaration that their eyes are very much firmly fixed on what goes on in the zoo called Nigeria. And we're asking ICC, what happened to those that have been identified to have committed crime against civilian population? Why is ICC dragging her feet and only looking for future evidence of crime? There are people who have maimed, killed, spilled the blood of innocent. There are looters already. There are people who have electoral uh, 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 machines they call card readers. These are people who are causing mayhem. These are people who are subverting the process. If ICC has jurisdiction over all this, why are they waiting? People are committing all manner of ethnic cleansing. If ICC has jurisdiction, why is ICC waiting? It is very important that our people focus. We will indeed get victory and get justice in the end. It is our responsibility individually and collectively to sing our praises even when nobody is singing ours. 
Our child this evening is for us to remain focused and never to be distracted. Our message is sinking. Our message is hitting hard on the intended target. That is why they are coming out everywhere in the zoo called Nigeria. They have paid radio stations. They have paid TV stations to be talking negatively about IPUP to intensify effort in telling people to come out to vote where they know very well that there is no system. That the system has collapsed. Some of them are crying. Some of them are saying that foreign governments are being invited to come and subvert the democratic process. That Boko Haram is going to attack markets. That APC is going to uh, 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 APC is going to rig election. These are the same people that are castigating IPOB. And we're telling them to go and vote them out with their PVC. Go and vote them out with their PVC. If you don't vote them out with their PVCs, after 16th of February 2019, then you we not have any moral authority to talk to IPOB or to castigate what we are doing. Because we are going to prove all of you wrong. Because we are going to prove ourselves that we have come of age. Our people are coming to us saying, what are we going to say to these people that are trying to twist and blow out of proportion the position that we have taken? You don't need to be self-pitied. You must continue, maintain focus on the message. The message is very clear. We are not voting, we are staying at home. Simple as that. Continue to disseminate it the way it is. For those who are having nightmares about our leader, Mazinam, the Council of Revelation, we will continue to inflict pains in their system. Continue to disseminate those all important pronouncements of our leader Mazen Namdekano. Our tiku is from Adamawa. Adamawa is in Cameroon before they embarked on Presby site in 1961 and became part of this abominable contraption called Nigeria. And people should be very proud or rather be grateful to Nam the Canon for that exposition. Because what he has said has indeed opened up a lot of hidden secrets in the zoo called Nigeria. Even those who say that they are professors and captains of industries and lawyers and barristers and uh, name them members of the academy do not know very simple history and they are jealous that the person that actually puts and situated this the way it is is not coming from somebody they know and ever expected to say that incidentally Nam De Kanu has said it and it is the source of confusion that is coming from the zoo called Nigeria. Everybody is now running about like wounded lions against IPOB, against Nam De Kanu. One message here that you have to take away this evening if you have not already is this. If they don't value you, if they are not afraid of you, they will not talk about you. It's simple as that. And therefore, our tenacity, our commitment to, commitment to this cause cannot be questioned. Anybody that questions it is indeed going to pay a heavy price for it. 
Number to call it plus four four seven four zero five nine six four one four six plus four four seven four zero five nine six four one four six. We are also on Skype. The Skype ID is Radio Biafra six. If the people of Adamawa from or regional territory in Cameroon and from which I think you came from can embark on Presby site and decide whether they will be in Cameroon or in the zoo called Nigeria. Why can't the people of Biafra do the same? That was the question our leader Mazinan can post and the idiots to study it out of context. But it's also an eloquent testimony of the fact that our message is hard hitting and indeed getting to the intended target. We are going to intensify what we are doing in the next couple of days until the 16th of February 2019. Our mission is very simple. Stay at home and do not listen to anyone. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Please, there is no room for distraction. Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening. Yes. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you Hello, hear me? Yeah, good evening from here. Good Go evening, ahead. Yes, Go ahead, please. My name is Ndivisi. Ndivisi. From Ohofia, Ohofia in uh, Boy Province. I'm not right now, I'm calling from Miguacha. Right, thank you very much. How have you prepared for the boycotting uh, of the sham selection they call election? Thank you for what you people are doing for us, Biafra. We're coming on, on February 16th. Uh, we are not going to vote. Even, even me, since we were born in I never vote for Nigeria. I cannot vote for Nigeria. The only thing I will vote is a Jaffa referendum. We vote too hard and we carry too hard to make sure that I vote for Jaffa. But if you come for Nigeria, ha, we are going to show them that we, we have done enough. That's why we cannot vote because our brother have lost. We have killed some of our brothers who didn't marry them back for this job. Make sure that we will vote. Even the first uh, God has started calling my mother, calling my mother, my brothers. They don't know a nation for Jaffa land. We must give them most, most. I want to greet you, my leader. Nobody Prophet. can stop it. Nobody can win. So, if my God bless them, the only prophet who I see, I didn't see Elijah, but I don't see this one. Any person who is still there, that way, in Africa, and that person just now wimps. Now, I'm the only prophet who I see. Put Elijah away, then they talk for Bible. Yes, thank you very much. And God bless you, of course. There is no going back. We urge our people to continue to consolidate and to continue to disseminate and evangelize this all important message of boycott. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Call on the phone. They are gone. And of course, we will have to proceed. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from Hello. here. Welcome to the program. Yeah, good evening, Majesty Director Mazu Shimova. Welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Eche, calling from my back, my brother. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. First of all, let me thank you for what you have been doing for the life of our For the life that you can see, thank you for what you have For the life of our Asia, and for the life of our deputy, the mother of my father. For the life of all of our openness to the family. So can I be seen with us, let us and protect us. He was the strength and the level and the and the brain and wisdom to start their family. My time was spoken in my brain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting radio uh, here for an uh, FM where you are? Yeah, I'm listening with my phone. My my, my phone. No. My FM in my phone. So, what you're saying is that FM is not up and running where you are. Is that correct? It, it's up and running. I'm listening with my phone. My FM on my phone is up and running. Okay. All right. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, I want to pass on the little information that I had today that uh, there was uh, people for campaign came at, in my bag and I hear, I hear saying, where they call Shimeho. So, then, uh, as they are here, 
as we were here, it's uh, still at the brain 50,000, but then for the youth, to share. Do you know that this who uses it to wound it, to, to kill somebody today? They already are dragging 50,000 naira. Someone went, went and got a break bottle, and he, he stole it to someone, that person dodged it, and he knocked another person. And they, they, they see what happened to the brother, 50,000 naira. That's somebody that like, that game. Uh, I don't know how people behave. I don't know how people used to do things. Of course. It is, it is very, very, very unfortunate and more, more casualties are going to come because our people value yeah, money them. more than their uh, lives and their comfort. As I am not, as I am not, I don't, I don't believe in politician, uh, politician money. I believe in my, in my heart, my heart, my heart money, my sweat money. I believe to sweat to, to also to get the money. I'm hoping in someone's money. I don't know how the, that the person make it. So, I'm telling our people to be resolute, telling, telling our people to be sending them good message about the resolution of their phone, and begging our people to sit at home on the 16th of, of February, try, everyone to try his best, sit at home, so that their family will come. Please, I'm begging everyone of us, and I say, may God give us the enable strength, give us the wisdom to restore their family. May God bless you, my, my deputy director, Mazi Mofa, bless Ali Damazi Nakano, bless everyone. He's working on the same thing. So let's talk to And say, may he be with us, let us and protect us. The mighty one is good. Let us name it today. Yeah? He's safe. He's safe. Thank you. Bless you too. Thank you very yeah. much. This is Willow Pia for our presentation on this evening of the 5th of February 2019. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Call on the phone. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead. My dear people, the Mazuchi Mefome, bless you and bless your family. I bless, bless you too. Our leader, Mazi, Namo Bukano, bless you, Mazu, my brother. The people are really crying for us. We are still here and seeing everything. I'm calling you from Abba, but I'm from Kehojime. So it's not it's university. Only the Dafalan, precisely the Sukha province. Where in Amo in Yawobi is come from. Where my brother. Everything in our side is just like we are in the in the darkness. But we are me and my family we worship God of Mazen in Amo Bukano. The God that we gave to give us the service state of Biafra. I have never, ever going back in this very, 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 very life and the life and life so many states of the Afra. And really behind you, Mazen Amon the Colonel, what you people are doing is life. 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 Peace. Everything God created in No emotion in the Afra land. No emotion in the Afra land. My brother, in my hometown, that is where all the darkness is. All the darkness that holds the Afra land, that is the place where they eat. But me and my family, we are rejected. We are rejected, even if we have the light it or not. Ukerejime belongs to Biafra. Even if we believe or not, even if we sell out to one naira, twenty naira, anyhow we, anyhow we think, Ukerejime Bala Biafra. In the name of the in <laughs> You don't outside. Where in Yamu does come from? 
which one is his own king? Nyamwedo. Batulu. Batulu. Hapu yu yu nabayari. Hapu yu yu nabayari nuzi. Hapu yu yu nabayari wa wana naira. Then nagyon. Then nagyon kona abani yu nabayari na atoke. Okona abu yu nabayari na atoke nyamwedo. Kwa hu. Umu nabayari wa ngushia landa wa kwa anacha na ya lain. Batulu. Ukugra. Ukugna madi ya nyamma. Ama apu yu yu nabayari na atoke. Nite nuzo. Nite nuzo. Nite nuzo. Nite nuzo. Nite nuzo. Nite nuzo. Nite n Ana anu redio na ukiri jina, ehu ukiri jina, ibendi ni kumara na shamba na wong ufumbu redio na, na ni uti, na ni uti, ufumbu kwa wana na phone kwa wana ukiri diafra, ukiri bo ukiri bo ala diafra, ana maji ni nari usi ni uti, uche mofo, keep on keep on, God will bless you and bless your family. Na nemo uti kwa diama kwa, amen. Okay. Same bless you too. Thank you very much. Next call on the phone. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Welcome to the program. Give us your name and where you're calling from. The caller messenger, you need to stop because your line is not stable. This is a form of disturbance now. Call on the phone. Can you hear me? Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Okay, thank you. My name is uh, Amazi Mabwede Akuta. I'm from uh, Umu Arusilam Amandoba in Su AGA, Biafra land. Yes, uh, I thank God for you. I thank God for you and uh, all the principal officers. I thank God for Amazi Namde Kalo for all you people have been doing for. We, Biafrans, I have a little information that I want to give to you this night. Uh, in Aba, we are facing challenges, problems, both from our brothers, our own brothers and sisters, are the people doing things to make sure they suppress us, they kill us, they betray us to the hands of the Jew. Now, there is a place called uh, Amajaz. Amajaz is close to Aria International Market, Aba. There is a chairman there, and that chairman has been removed and suspended because of the chairman of Ochendo, Shu and Bad. His name is Sonny Nwala. I have his name and his telephone number here. Now, he removed this chairman, said that the chairman is an, a member of IPOB. The chairman is a member of IPOB, quite sure. But he said that the chairman is a member of IPOB. That is the reason he was removed. They are the people doing IPOB meeting in Ariaria. Tell me how somebody will not do meeting in his own compound, in his own house. But just because of he is serving the zoo government, he said that the chairman will be suspended because of they are doing IPOB meeting. And lay a manner of accus accusation on the chairman. So since we had this thing, we are not happy. These people are the people sabotaging Biafra. They are people giving both military, police, DSS, and the, all of them information. Beware about the IPOB to go and arrest them. And there is one of them that said that he will be there to represent the chairman that they have been removed so that he will stop IPOB not to have the meeting in that amajas again. I decided to call, say this thing on air. Why they are doing all this thing? They are hunting us. They are hunting us. Giving the information where we live, where we do our business, telling the zoo army and the police to come and arrest us. This is what we are facing. Why I say this thing this night? Let IPOB know this, that whatever, that even if as I'm talking to you, if anything happens to me tomorrow or next, and uh, even of that chairman, let everybody have it in mind that it is Sonny 
Nwala, and the other one called Samogi, they are the people that are planning to eliminate us in Aba. This is what we everybody, are seeing here. Everybody, Both. especially in Piafala, must take note of all this. All these people who are going about putting our people in harm's way, putting our people in danger, must be identified because if anything happens, they must be held accountable. And we are not going to prevaricate. We are not afraid of anyone. They should be afraid <coughs> of us, I tell you. They should be afraid of us. We have gone too far to even begin to think of going back. You should not be afraid in your fatherland. You should not be afraid in your things. You are doing legitimate businesses, and most of us are doing very well. Do not allow anybody to dislodge you from what you are doing because it is your hard okay. business and money. Mazimov. Okay. Okay. Our people Again, in Biafala, our to... people in Biafala must take note of all this that we are saying. Yeah. Send the name that you have across here and the okay. contact number as well. Okay. Uh, let me. His name is uh, Sonny Nwala. And uh, the telephone number is this. 081-831-217-17. Again, 081-831-217-17. The second number is this. Zero eight one zero zero eight zero seven two one two again zero eight one zero zero eight zero seven two one two so uh Mazimepo, let me say this this is what happened yesterday in uh, on this thing happened on Sunday in Onicha, because I traveled to Onicha on Sunday. Now, the the governor of uh, Anambra State now have start mobilizing the same towns. They say that they have stopped in Onicha to go against IPOD in Onicha, to go everywhere. All look and cranny wherever IPOB are doing their meeting or any pe any person found known as IPOB, the indigenous, mainly in Mpo, Mpo, the indigenous there are there informing the soldiers, the police, and their people where IPOB are doing things in Onicha. Both the people that run away from Kano and return to Onicha to do their business, these people are there hunting them. If you cross with your machine, somebody will hold you and ask you give him money for uh, a, a land. But you don't have to drive machine this place without giving them money because of, they have sold the whole of their land. They don't have any other thing to do. This is what they are doing. On my present idea, one man was bringing money out from his pocket to pay a uh, a, 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 a driver and the, the well, part of the money fall on the floor there so after he gave the money to pay the driver he bent down and took the money immediately a young man rushed him and asked him to give him that money the man asked him which money what me to give i said give me that money I asked him to give him that money he picked on the floor he said the man said it's my money that fell out of my pocket he asked him what what is the name of the money he said it's 100 naira before the boy keep quiet, I got shocked of myself. Say, Have we come to this for our own brother, our own people to start chasing themselves because of the hunger and the misery, misery, mi mi misery which the government have put place upon us? So why I'm saying this on air? Let everybody in Biafra and take notes. Don't vote. More Every vote. My brother, for your this, this thing is very simple. There is need for us to collaborate. There is need for our people in Biafra land to be their brothers. Speak 
keepers, be your sister's keepers, look after one another, make sure that you move in unison, make sure that you do what is expected of us, make sure that you remain without fear before your enemies, anywhere you are going, confide in the people you trust and make sure that people know your whereabouts because they have intensified effort to begin more abduction of our people. There is a picture of a number of Biafra youths killed, massacred, and dumped in Borough Pit in Abia State. It is the responsibility of our people to continue to beam satellites on these terrible sites, abominable sites where the bodies of our brothers and sisters are being mutilated and hidden in our bar. Okay, Bazo must pay a very heavy price at the appropriate time. These people are candidates of International Criminal Court, whether the authorities like it or not. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Welcome to the program. Yes, I can hear you. Mazu Chemefo. Good evening from here. Yeah, good evening from here. I cannot, the caller or messenger, your line is not okay. You should understand what I'm saying here. And this is becoming a distraction. Yes, my, Go ahead, please. My name, my name is Sam Sinemeka. I'm calling all the way from Umumbo in Iron Belmu government here in Amber Last two, two days, I brought a report to you that uh, the Flani uh, people hired one of our motorcyclists to admit a resort on Mokite. On their way, they snatched his motorcycle and they tried to kill him. He gave, he not only gave them the machine, but they refused the machine. They wanted to kill him. But uh, unfortunately, the boy was uh, prepared. He was not killed. All the efforts, the market they gave him on two places or three was not, uh, did not kill him. Then they took away his machine. One other woman that was going to farm with a, a large sum of money, they caught him on the way, trying to rape her. On the process, they found the money. The, while they were on the process, some other person were coming behind them. Then they left the, the old lady and took away his money and ran away into the bush. As I'm talking to you now, we have no farm. Our cassava, our kajanus kajan, that is akede. We do call it akede, so so, in our own language. We have no now. The Flanius men has destroyed all our crops. They came to this part of Nigeria, that the cut of part of the Afra. On the 11th of around the November 10th, that time we have not done anything with our, our harvesting of rice. We have not harvested our rice. Since then till now, they have been terrorizing everywhere. There is no single cassava here now, you can see. Last last uh, week, we heard that uh, the executive governor of Anambra State gave them order to evacuate from uh, their own area, Aguilera. So they are trooping very many to this area, to this our side. I am um, very many of them. They are full here. When they destroy our farm, they say they will pay you. Before they will come to pay you, they can only give you ten thousand naira with the. Kangaroo Committee, they said, we are deceived by this health man. I want to bring this into your alert. On your efforts in restoring the Afra. On the election, we have told our people to buy a the election. The election is rigged already. The best thing for us is to remain calm and wait for our referendum. God bless the Afra. You say, you say. God bless Biafra, of course, we will do the needful, and we, of course, uh, uh, repose so much confidence in our people to deliver, because this is the opportunity we have to indeed put to shame our enemies. This is the Biafra presentation. We are moving forward. Most High God remains in charge. 
caller on the phone can you hear me. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Caller on the phone, go ahead, please. Uh, good evening, my, my deputy director, Maggie Tomoko. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Uh, my name is uh, Don Jukuma. I'm from Amatero, where I call Kwa, in our local place. But I'm calling from Ibota right now. Yes. I thank you on what you are doing for us, dear friends. And I thank Martin and Carlo, who is able to lead us towards this struggle. I imagine tomorrow, I'm very, very happy about you because what you did for us is very marvelous. That nobody can do this, do it for us because of you. That made this struggle to be because of you that this struggle is still on to you today. So I thank because you very because much. Of hard because of hardcore dedicated beer fans who are yeah, 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 very much for Christ. yeah, because yeah, because yeah, I say I, 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 I started to 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 give you. I got I got I got I got I got I got so that's the name I'm giving to you. Because somebody, oh no, I'm a Gulu. Oh no, I'm a Gulu. I get a million ama. So, in a Gulu, Melia. So, one name will keep Melian ama. Both our director, Martin Nanikalo. So, I thank you very much. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Yeah. And so, I want to, there's a, an impression I want to, I want you, I want us to correct because of. There is a this um all this Kawandile Camelon Yoruba Gentile Yoruba people. There is a certain work they are doing in our, our people this side because the certain work they are doing is every time because of this election boycotting because all of us have decided to boycott the election and today we have we have our meeting today and we we'll emphasize on that boycotting of election. Everybody said that we are going to boycott the election. But there is a devil work that your bad people are doing against us. The work that the evil work they are doing against us is that they are brainwashing our people and telling them that since we are backcutting, we say that we will, we will back out an number of election. And since we say we will back out an number of election, that an number of election will not hold. And the number of election vote that day, some people who voted that day. These people, and you, the, don't, it, you don't need to go along, um, I mean, listen to these people. We said IPOB is boycotting election. We also made it abundantly clear that there are some people we know that are paid. But whether they go out or not is their business. And that election was boycotted. Yeah. It was the yeah, yeah. INEC that was used. Every opponent, even enemies of Biafra, from different parts of the zoo called Nigeria, from both within and outside, they united and they decided to make sure that they don't allow IPOB to expose them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They manipulated them yeah, because yeah. they know about it. Because we were monitoring uh, all the polling units. There are videos uh, of women, old women being given money. In polling units, there are videos of party officials voting in their own, when on duty as well. The people that voted in Obia, no, or voted in that charade called election were not up to 10,000. That, that is why we are calling him 10% governor. So don't expect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't expect anybody to clap for IPOB. There are still yeah, those yeah. that they have imported from different states. They will pay them and they will go and start in polling units only to discredit IPOB. But we are not deterred. Our position is very clear. Indigenous people of Biafra will boycott the presidential election or selection that is coming up. Yeah. And we are yeah, going yeah. to drive our message home. Uh, exactly. The appropriate time exactly. We will, of course, do what is expected of us. Do not yes, be distracted yes, yes. and do not concentrate on all this. If they come yes, to you, yes, yes. show them the videos of underage voters 
the videos of people who have card readers in their houses. The video of yes, yes, Ibrahim yes. Mantu confessing on election. On election yes, reading. Yes. And when yes. some of them who say that they articulated come with their nonsense about where article came from at Damawa, show them the video of the what is his name? Uh, Emir of uh, of Adamawa, uh, the no, the Lamido of Adamawa. Show them the video, uh, and everything will be led by. Let them, you know, continue to demonstrate their level of stupidity to their own yes. children and to their own destruction. We are not interested. Yes, let yes. nobody mourn. Let nobody be self pitied. We cannot pity ourselves yes. here. Continue to go yes. on the offensive. Continue to expose whatever they are trying to hide. They are the people who yes. are going to run away, not you. Very important. Yes. IPOB boycotted yes. an Ambra election and it was successful. The zoo yes. authority, just like we have said, has yes. continued to use ah. my neck to manipulate figures on the election. It took them 48 yes. hours to announce the election, whereby they had electronic voting system. Why didn't they announce the result immediately? The same thing happened yes. in Oshun, the same thing happened in Ekiti yes. and some other places. What are we talking about here? Yes. Because of the inherent yes. fraudulent system that we are meant to participate in, we are boycotting the election. More importantly, they mm -hmm. say that we are terrorists. Where do you see yes. terrorists vote in the election? They say that we are miscreants, that we have rogues. Mm. Why are they now demanding that we vote in the election? It is too late yes. for them, my brother. Do not, do not be deterred. Focus on evangelism. Focus on sitting at home, and you will see the result. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, so thank you very much. We are here, yeah, we are evangelizing very, very seriously. So our people are going everywhere and they evangelize. We are we also evangelizing wherever we are. If I, even inside the inside bus, we are evangelizing everywhere. So, but those Yoruba people, we are facing them and we are winning them and we are showing them evidence because we know that. If Nigeria is not, is not a corrupt, Nigeria is a giant of corruption in the whole world. Because whatever they will to do, they will do. Our people don't know what is democracy. Democracy is when they say uh, there's, no, there's no vote, the vote, uh, election is no vote. It means that the population of people that is in the state, the people that voted is, is lesser than the people that no vote. That means that there's no election. But our people, who, who doesn't know what is democracy? Uh, some people have been watching them, but we, we are formidable and we are not to look. They cannot deceive us. And everything they are doing, we have no, have no them. So they can't deceive us anymore. So we are saying that election on 16th, we are going to back out the election and everybody is here to back out the election. So we thank you very much and we thank you, our, um, our, uh, our director. We thank you, Matthew Timofo. We thank you, Major Nibe, for the work you people are doing to us. Thank you, and go on. God bless you, and bless us too. In Chico Kadiyama. He said, he said, thank you very much, and God bless you. I am joined by the head of our finance department, Mrs. Sinden Nehaya, all the way from Germany. Can you hear me? Thank you for holding. Okay, I hope I'm coming out here. Yes, go ahead, Can please. Go Good ahead. evening. Okay. Thank you very much. Good evening, great IPOB family members around the world. Dear friends, us of freedom and those that want freedom just the way we do. I welcome all of you tonight, today, the 5th of February 2019, and a Tuesday. My name is Sinan Naya Anya. I'm from Ihechiowa in Umuahia province in Biafra land. Tonight, I don't have much 
actually I just want to say one or two things. And then my main reason of coming tonight is uh, because of our local government finance officers, which I'm going to call her because the coordinator said that I should please call them out on air before us, some people will start parading themselves as the finance officers. So tonight I'm going to call out the ones from Imo, that is Okigwe, Owere, Mbise, Ngo, Kuala, and Olo. Then I will go to Enugu, what I have for now, Enugu North, East, and South. Then another day will be something else. But before I go on, I want to remind us, dear friends, especially IPOB, this is the time we really have to remain strong and consistent. This is just the time. We cannot afford to go back. They will come in different forms, trying to convince you some are getting 1,000 Naira or 5,000 or a cup of rice or whatever they are giving them to try you, to know how strong you are, how determined you are. This is just the time to show it. We don't need to be afraid because they are panicking. Well, they say that we are jobless and we don't have anything to do. And suddenly, IPOB is now keeping them busy, giving them sleepless nights. It shows that what we are doing is having a very big effect on them. I know some saboteurs or those that they have paid to penetrate IPOB and pretend that they are one of us. But well, it's not difficult to find them out. You will really know them from the way they argue, from the way they try to you know, when you say there is a meeting or something, the way they will back off, or in fact, from their argument, you will know exactly. But just remain strong. This is our opportunity. We cannot afford to lose this golden opportunity. 16th of February today is already the fifth. That's 11 days more. We are going to sit at home. Sit at home. Because if you come out, they will kill you. There is no need for you to come out. What are you coming out to do? They don't care about you. You don't have good roads. No good hospital. No good schools. So what are you coming out to vote for? For what? Remain at all. I've been going through on Facebook, some people are just making some comments just because they have data. Therefore, they think they can go on Facebook and be writing whatever. That's their business. You just confront them and then move on. They want to distract us thinking that by saying one or two things, we now say, okay, let's see what we can do. No, we, there is no alternative. No alternative. 16th of February is a very important date as far as our restoration assignment is concerned. So we have to make use of it. And I know we are going to record a very huge success. They know that. That's why they're panicking. That's why they are sending their people to come in, some with, you know, some are even answering Igbo names. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Or we will know them. Just be very careful. Do not allow them to put fear, you know, because they know we are going. We are gone already. We have gone. And they know this. Remember? During the time of the Israelites, not all of them left Egypt. Some were against it, but they left. And today, they have their own plan. 
therefore, the saboteurs will come. The majority of us say, enough is enough, and we are going home. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. That's why I'm really proud that I'm a member of IPOB family. We should remain strong. More evangelism. Talk to your family members, your neighbors, school children. If you go to gym or anywhere you are, any activity you are doing, talk to people. Call our people back home. It's very, very important. You don't neglect any of them, especially those in the villages, because the politicians now are now going to villages. This is the time we need the Ogele. Town criers who go around and talk to people because that one is very, very effective. And also, it's our ready. That is why those of us in diaspora should please work hard, join hands with our people back home. Let them get access to our ready. Make contributions. Ask them for their needs. It's very, very important. We don't wait for IPOB hierarchy to do everything. It will take a very long time. But when we come together as a group from our senatorial, because we all belong to somewhere, it will make a very good impact. Huge one. It's not every time we say our radio is not talking, our radio is not talking. We ourselves need to do something as individuals, as a group, so that we keep moving. And if you know you are responsible for our radio, try to do the right thing. Let your conscience speak for you. Because if you betray this struggle, if you betray this assignment given to us by Chukwu Kitabiam, and we are following our leader, if you betray it in any form, you will pay for it. Maybe not now, but when we surely pay, because a lot of people have died. We are not here to joke. We are here to complete the unfinished business of our fathers and mothers. That's why we are here. We must dust ourselves up and remain strong, especially now. It's now that this test of consistency is very important. This is just the time. How consistent are you? How determined are you? How focused are you? This is the time to show it. No other time, none, by remaining strong, by doing what you are sold to do. This is the time. And if we can come a long way, all these years, we did it in Anambra. Is it now that we cannot do it? Of course we can. We can, if we are determined. And I know we are determined to do it. Don't just allow anybody to confuse you. There's nothing here to get confused. We want freedom. And now a date has been given. So what is the problem? Why are you confused now? You say you want a date. And our leader has announced a date. It's now left for us to carry out the instruction by remaining in us. Right from the 15th, if you have anything to buy, do your shopping, start from 30th, do your shopping. Buy your food stuff. Those of you that need firewood, you go to farm, you know, to fetch firewood, Starting from the 13th, 14th, 15th, I'm sure you'll be able to finish by then. You fetch water and leave it there. You have no reason to come out on the 16th because they will kill you.
this is the time to prove to the world that yes, that we are ready to go home. This is the time. So we all must be very serious. We should take it as running the last race. This is the time to hold the button very, very tight and take it to the end. This is the time. And I know we are going to do it. To prove to the world that yes, we are ready to go. Some of them are writing of course they will write, but don't allow yourself to be distracted to our main aim, which is sitting at home on the 16th. Thank you very much. Now I go on to call out the names of our local government finance officer, finance officers in Imo and Enugu. But before that, I need to call out the names of the units that paid in Ngo Okwala, which is also a local government in Imo. They paid for the months of December 2018 and January 2019. And they are as follows. Umwa Kabia Unit. Elulu unit, Nore unit, Ihete Okwe unit, Imeriwo Nguru unit, Omwahara Elelem unit, Omwanyamle unit, Omuchem Elelem unit, Omu Akari Elelem unit, Ihon Kabia unit, Omu Ankara Imeriwe unit, Omu Nam Unit, Upe unit, Umonye unit, and Amalfo unit. These are the units that paid in Npo. I'm sorry, in Ngo Kuala, local government in Ibo, for the month of December 2018 and January 2019. Now I go on to call out the names of our local government finance officers. Like I said, they said that please I should try and announce. Their name on air so that others will not be parading themselves as our local government finance officers. Now in Imo, we go to Okigwe Senatorial. On Imo, local government, we have Ugone Onye Ike, Isi Alamba, and our local government. We have Ngozi Iwa, Iwa Aung, Iwa I'm sorry. Okigwe local government, we have Iforma Okoli. Iheme Mba, not local government, we have Chinere in the BC. Ihete So Uboma is not yet confirmed. Then Obo, local government, we have Nkiruka Eze Adi. Now we go to Owere. Ikedu, we have Mary Ikena. Owere Municipal, we have Kalesta Uchebu. Owere North, we have Mrs. Florence Azoka. Mbitolu, we have Ihenze Chiwendo. Owere West, we have Favor Nana. That's what I have for Owere. Now we go to Mbise. Mbise, we have have Mrs. Lorette Ajongwa, the Abaja local government. We have Mrs. Augustina Opara, a here um, finance officer. We have Mrs. Uchera Wendu Chidubem, and now Ihenite Ihenite financial uh, officer. We have Mrs. Osondo Augusta. Okovu, we have Mrs. Rita Chimezie. That's what we have for Mbese. Now, from Go Okwala, we have 
confidence chine doom. For although we have Ukuoma Akudo, that's all we have for Imo. Now we go to Enugu. Enugu North, we have Ngozi Onia Ozana. Enugu East, we have Uche Chukume Chukumerue. For Enugu South, we have Augustina Okebue. That is what I have for now. As they come, I will call them. So please do not allow yourself to be distracted. Why we are here is to restore our motherland, Biafra. So please, we do, we carry on and do what we are supposed to do. They should be afraid of us. IPOB, we don't need to be afraid of them. Because they've lost it all. They've just lost it. And they know that. Have no fear. Chuko Kikabiyama will not disappoint us. He gave us a leader. And if Chuko Kikabiyama gives you an assignment, as long as you keep to his rules, he will not let you down. And he will not let us down. This is the time for us to go. This is the time, my people. No other time. The first stage of our referendum is on the 16th. And we must carry out the instruction, M-U-S-T, because we want freedom. Let them watch and see what Chuko Kikabiyama will do. Unless if he's not the one that sent us. If he is the one that said, my children, this is the time. Nobody is going to stop it. I believe in that. And I'm sure millions of us believe the same. So remain resolute, determined, focused, especially consistent. When we remain that way, they have nothing to do than to give way. And we are going home. Remain blessed and do what you are told to do. Thank you, my deputy, for giving me this opportunity. That is all what I have for tonight. Ndeo. There well, thank you very much, and God bless you. And uh, keep it on the voice of our head of uh, finance department, Mrs. Nenya, all the way from Germany. We remain grateful to her for her resoluteness, for her commitment to duty. And we will have to proceed. There is no intention for us to prevaricate, neither are we going to capitulate until what we are looking for is given to us or becomes a reality. Call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Please, I don't know who, who is in charge of you, who is in charge of you. You don't always talk it on it, off it, off and on. What is happening? We are listening to it. We gather ourselves here every evening to listen to this radio. I don't know why they are disturbing the radio. It's off now. And I hate it when it's ready, it's off. Our radio is off in Igbo, is that correct? Is it what you're saying? Yes. Yes, yes. it's off. It was right. on, but now it's can off. You get, can you get us on uh, via the satellite? Let people check the satellite. If the satellite is on, then we know that there is something specifically that they are doing to our radio in Igbo, our people should check whether our satellite is on. Very important. Our people should check. It doesn't matter where you are in Biafra land or even outside Biafra land. Oh, 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 okay. okay. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. This is for the Biafra presentation. If anybody is tampering with our radio, of course, that person will, of course, be responsible for whatever comes upon him or her very important but we will not want to believe we want to do some 
important critical checks before making a conclusion as regards to what we are having as a problem from that particular part of Biafra. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. My vision is for good evening. Good evening from yeah. here. Welcome this, to the program. Yeah. yeah this is our bike, Biafra. Your Zoom is not coordinated. My vision is for Shalom. Shalom. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I want to, yeah, I want to thank uh, all Biafra who are working as serious in this our restoration. I say, my school can be my guide every one of us. In the mighty name of Yahweh Hishwa. Is it? Is it? My dear, my dear, for Biko, uh, my dear, 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 Oka can can and brass it, or be a cucha cha cha cha, and the day sign on you make it. On your bona non you go, Kita will important time I need to get it. So, how I will look at this restoration of Gafland, apart from going any broad Macadistan. There is time for everything. More than give anything, if I feel be a good one, and a marriage you call you this time around, I need to If you get. We are looking into it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, even there for here. Time. Yeah, yeah, even here in Ozobo, more and I fight out. I now fight because I'm not aware of our own transmitter here. I'm not on the show by Sarekita. Because I need you to get that. When I'm not doing in charge of it, because you have a quiet out now. You don't announce what you are doing on air, my brother. You need to be very, very okay. vigilant and strategic. All right. Right, thank you very much. Right. And we are going thank to look into what complaint it is you are okay. making. Thank and you, the, and this um, this our our I want you to help me out in this our that music you could create go and a physical cocot. Send that now that our platform um, WhatsApp so that I will get it please. Very important to me. Thank you. This was the Zona Coordinator. Bye Biafra. Shalom. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra presentation. I'm joined by one of us, Mazi Ubuan, all the way from London here. Can you hear me? No, not sure what's going on here. Uh, just a minute. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you clear. Yes, Good evening, my deputy director. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. How are you today? I'm okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. I've got an announcement to make. Uh, yes, before the announcement, I want to use this uh, opportunity also to talk to my people in, uh, in Anambra State, Oka, precisely. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, because now I boycott this very zoo election coming on 16th of uh, February. Sit at home this very referendum you are in a team for since now you took work at the armor cobia mezu no gear and no me go now through our spring leader mazim nam de kano when i should know nanya remegini are to vote I even do a kayama that my yana are about last because neighbor on your car on a on a one or not a la 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 that very day kayamu la ya so leave any unyele other provinces now they are a boycott by the same election my yes ma I you know for referendum and nothing more kabia frabia no gany because kaito one inch not that nandi lobala and you kill Ola wewe masidolomo na that very day na nyana na etiti mero doa kana na nyana eko kaka achino ngure ebe ebe umade na ukugale donyo bana na na biye biko eke nikuwe mulo we na yano biko kuna gale wanya na na ola boku yewe mute duranyo boka mabona nyesho we observe iwa ni wokuye 
referendum ma before na aga na aga ni ezibe na no na wosa abato aka mana keta ba ga ba pata kwa ba ga wosa we na very soon ni ken ke chukwu ke ka bia ma awosa nwa aga ze abato aka ba ga end na benu in no distance time ana ma yo no mu mu chineke bikonu kanyi bo ka futa ni ba na ekwu okwu e ekere kwa mu nu oka mulum ga chie ni ike my deputy director i've got an announcement to make uh there will be a there will be a meeting of indigenous people of biafra here in london on saturday the 9th of february 2019. the meeting was will, will start with live broadcast of our supreme leader maze namundekano at normal time of the broadcast will be 5 p.m the venue of this very live broadcast will be at Dunning Hall, Enham Grove, Forest Gate. The postcode is E79AB. We must come out in marks, fellow beer friends. As our Supreme Leader Marvin Namde Kano will be in our midst with live broadcast of RBL. For newcomers, if you are coming for the first time and you know you are not under oath, please do not bother coming. I repeat, if you are coming for the first time, you are not under oath or you are not part of any family unit in IPOB in any area, my beach, Manchester, Birmingham, wherever, please do not because we haven't got that time to waste and start administering oath to newcomers. Please to avoid any uh, misunderstanding or whatever. Stay home and listen. The only people that will be welcomed in will be the people on oath. I repeat, we be only people on oath. Anybody trying anything funny, stay home. Do not come that very day. I repeat, stay here home. Do not bother coming. The direction from Stratford Station, take bus 86 or 25 and stop at Woodbridge Road bus stop. Then walk towards Forest Gate Station. Dunning Hall is at back of Cooperative Supermarket. Also with bus 330 or 308 or 58. Stop at Forest Gate Station. With overground train, stop at One State Park Station towards forest and walk towards forest gate station please for more information contact the london pro mazi george ume on 074 453 457 39 i repeat 074 453 Four five seven nine uh, three nine. Pardon me. Or you can contact myself on zero seven nine double four one nine zero six double eight. Or you contact the London Deputy Coordinator Maze Ifan Ichuku Madabuchi on zero seven four. Seven two five double zero. You can also visit our website on www.rbl.rblworld.tv or www.ipob.org or www.radiobiafra.co or www.biafrantelevision.co. May Chukwu Kikabiyama bless each and every one of us, the hardcore Biafrans who are ready to die for restoration 
of Biafra who are ready to boycott every zoo election, who are ready to sit at home come 16th of February 2019. May I repeat myself, if you are not in any way, shape or form, under oath or part of any family unit here in United Kingdom, that means you are not under oath. You have been listening through your wife rapper or you have been listening under your pillow or you have been listening hiding for so long because our leader is gonna be in our midst please as you have been doing for years back at next meeting you can come and and stay with us and take the oath as normal. But this time around, we haven't got time for we to start wasting or for we to start administering oath for the new members. Once again, anybody who is planning anything funny, advise yourself, do not come. Do not come. Do not come. Mechuko Kikabiyama. Blessings and every one of us that have been making the restoration or have been working very hard for restoration of Biafra to come in reality and to come in our time. May Chuko Kikabiyama brings my spring leader and the family also to you, Deputy Director Mazi Uchemefo, and the HOD, all the principal officers, head of finance, and so on all the whole principal officers that have been working tirelessly to make sure that restoration of Biafra comes to our lifetime. I will stop here, my Deputy Director. May you okay. bless you. Thank you very much, uh, Marzi Ubuani. May the most I go bless you, and family, and keep it on. This is for the Biafra Life presentation, and that is both racing the fact that our leader, Marzi Namde Kanu, shall, of course, be... Uh, having the next broadcast on 9th of February 2019 at the venue of our London family meeting. And it promises to be punchy and uh, very much interactive. We urge you, even in your fans, to remain focused and resolute. Of course, we know that our enemies are everywhere and we are inviting them but let them be cautious because they will not have upper hand against us we urge eminent beer fans to render every necessary support that are needed to make sure that this is a reality this is what they'll be a further presentation once again we urge you eminent beer fans to remain focused and resolute we'll be back in a minute because of very important call that we need to take. We will have to take an interlude. We're back in a minute. Right, welcome back. This is Radio Pierre Fella presentation. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? He's not talking, and of course, uh, I have tried my best in the circumstance. Can you hear me? This is unbelievable. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Yeah. What? Good evening. Right. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Yeah. This is Mwazi Ugochukwoto. Calling from Ava, but I'm from Aaron Israel. Right. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Okay, sir. But we have some, I want to speak in my language, I bet. Please. Let me talk to my people. Right, go but, ahead, go ahead, please. Okay. Who's the bar in this world? I'm sorry, 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 I'm I did a war. We have been in Atom, who not only in the Pana, but an unseen 
by Ali Damazi Namde Kano. Everybody is an eyewitness of what is going on. How suffer and yeah. is you think that they are not speaking Igbo, they are speaking Igbo more than you. They are very mm. much entrenched. They are living in every community in Biafra land. And therefore, exactly. we must have all of us brace up for the challenges ahead. There is no intention for us to retreat. Neither are we going to capitulate. We are going to, of course, face our challenges and deal with it by ourselves. IPOB is on yes. the right track. Anybody who is against IPOB and this resolution I fought way indeed pay very heavy price at the appropriate time, both right. spiritually and physically. Okay, sir. We must Thank be you. courageous. Keep, 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 keep we must on. be courageous yes, sir. Yes, sir. and take it one at a time and focus on what we are doing. Yes, Thank you, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. This is Sudan Pierre for the presentation. Incidentally, we will begin to wind down in no distant time. And we want to also remind our people that the journey for restoration effort cannot be stopped. And no matter how long it takes, our commitment is needed. And as long as we are ideologically consistent, as long as we commit ourselves to duty, there is no way we will not, of course, he might victorious. This is where there'll be a further presentation. Once again, we urge the eminent beer fans to remain focused and resolute. And I will want to make one last minute effort here. If I make this last minute effort and it doesn't go, our brother wanted to speak to us. Your line is not very good. I don't know why. I've been trying. And I will try the last time and, uh, of course, uh, begin to wind down in no distant time. As I'm trying, he is not picking the call as well, and we will have to proceed. We thank you, Eminem Beer fans, for having participated. We continue to urge you to continue to remain focused and resolute, to continue to imbue yourself with strength to continue to apply yourself to duty because there's nothing anybody can do about the decision that we have taken it is our direct responsibility to take that decision and we are also going to be there are the consequences of it whether good or bad i don't like this and we will have to give it a try can you hear me Yes, I can hear you clearly now, Master. Good evening. Good evening from here. Pastor, your line is not very good and it has been disrupting this program. Go ahead. Master, it was network. It was a, yes. 
giving out to trusted friends and family yes. members because our yes. enemies are on rampage and they are well coordinated because yes. there are some people who are also paid in Biafra to be pointing at IPOB family members. We will, of course, Exa be victorious exactly. in the end. It doesn't matter how many they are. Exactly. No bullet, no bullet can quench the collective aspirations yes. and the will of the Biafran people to collective self emancipation. Uh, Go ahead, please. At all. At all. Yeah. Then another thing, there is, another thing is, uh, Mazel, we are trying all our possibility to see that our people are at the home alone, mostly the area that they will participate in our our seat at home, our referendum based state. We are trying all our needs. And I want to urge our brothers, both in diaspora and the uh, home and away, there is somebody that make a donation to us for uh, this uh, transmitter. And I want to thank that, that person. I don't want to mention his name, but I want to thank him very much. He has done a lot to us. He called me today, today that uh, he has something to do for Biafrans. And uh, in fact, maybe he, he, he is hearing me now, but I thank him so much for what he has what he has done to our low people. So our low people will be so much grateful when they will start listening to the Radio Biafra and by the special grace of God, maybe before the end of this week or next week, Radio will start talking at our low. We are trying our possible best to see, to see that uh, something something will be done at our our people so that they will really enjoy our referendum day. Because as I'm talking to you now, as there is no movement. There is our our people, even in state, automatically, Imo state is stunned. They will no but when you go to Imo state, they are talking. There is nothing. They are doing nothing. They are only moving around, campaigning, campaigning. Now nobody is talking of our referendum. Self. Nobody is uh, preaching. Nobody. In fact, I want to. I want to. I want this rodeo now to start so that our people will be enlightened because they. they in fact, as I, I, I am so. I am, I am we, so disappointed for uh, our people in Limo states. We appreciate our brothers who are doing well in this direction to make you sure that our people in different parts of the yes. land are having the benefit of listening to us via FM with stations. Yes. We also yes. are yes, that our brother, everyone of us to be vigilant uh, over what happens in terms of security. Uh, regarding our own very styles and the routes that we are going. We must be our brother's keeper, our sister's keepers, as I have indicated before. If we have not been doing this, yes. now is the time for us to be more than ever before committed and united because our enemies are indeed going to have it very hot this time around. Thank you very much, yes. my brother. Uh, and, uh, uh, thank you, Master. God, God bless you. you. You are somebody, and uh, as I, I thought, you are somebody to me. I have said it several times, Master. I will never, yes, I am still alive on this earth. I will never, I will never allow anything. I will never allow a fool. I will never allow the, the, the terrorists. I will never allow the pedophile. I will never allow the useless people to terrorize us anymore. I am telling you, I have totally decided on my own. I have totally decided whether good or bad. Hence, God to go Kekabiyama is alive. Hence, God to go Kekabiyama is alive. Whatever that I will do to see that we restore Biafra, I must do it. So I urge our brothers, even those pastors, I mean, even sometimes I, I, in fact, I regret to, uh, to answer a pastor. I regret to, to answer, to, even to, to say that I'm a Christian. But I know, with, with all my name, yes, I know the God I am serving. Because those of people course, that are saying that they, they, they are pastor or they are man of God, man, they, they have this totally disappointed us. I'm telling you, they are they not doing so what God told 
what they will do one. on this earth. Simple I'm like telling you, they have sailed their best right. They have disappointed us automatically. But those that are still in, 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 in God's side, I, continue, I tell them that they should continue. They should continue moving ahead. Preach about God. Preach about our referendum. Preach about our freedom. Because what we need is a freedom. I can never be an, a slave in my father's land anymore. I will never. Instead of it, I, it is better for me to die as an Ebiafra to die as an useless man in in the, in the zoological what they call Nigeria. Mas, I don't want to talk too much, but I, I, I still promise that whatever that I will do, I will do is keep it on. God will continue protecting wherever our leader is today. Tuko Kebama will protect him, protect his 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 royal highness, his father, his mother, and all his brothers and sisters, even his children, even you yourself, even you yourself. Master, I always pray for you. Anytime I enter into the altar of God, I always pray for you because you I know kind. that God you are you. there. I'm God, family. God Tuko Kebama is with you. He will protect you and your family. Even Master George Onibe, I always pray for him. Master Kechuku Igwaha. The Biafran Land Coordinator is a man to me. I will never forget him. Even those of our principal officers, continue to bless them, continue to protect them until the day that we all will meet in Biafran Land to celebrate our our, refer, our our freedom. Everybody, because I know that in a little time, all of us will jump together and we must celebrate. May God bless you and bless all of our Biafrans. In the mighty name of Tuku, have a good night. Isse. Have a nice sleep. God will protect you. Thank, Thank you very you much. Very much. You and God bless you. And all God, dedicated yes. Biafra friends all over the world. May the Most High God protect each and every one of us as we march relentlessly forward to surmounting the obstacle before us. Because we are almost at the end of, coming to the end of this battle. And we shall be crowned with glory because we are on a mission ordained by heaven and the earth is bearing us witness what else can we say we thank you eminent dear friends for having participated we thank the most I go for having made it possible for us to have talked to one another this evening we also apologize to those who are still calling us it is time to go we urge you to call in in the subsequent edition of the programs. We have our Radio Biafra Middle East. We have our Radio Biafra South Africa. We have our Radio Biafra Extra. We have our Radio Biafra USA 1 and 2. All these are very formidable platforms. And you can call in and make your contributions. It doesn't matter who is broadcasting. The most important thing is that your views, your voices are heard in a way that will positively advance the cause we are fighting for. We ask the Most High God, we implore Him to continue to renew us, to continue to revive us, and more importantly, may He give us every enablement to restore Biafra. From me, from here, this is sincerely to me for at this particular point in time, sign off. Thank you very much. Good night and God bless.